Sethlon versus Kaze. Kaze. Yep. We got. Oh, it's kind of a weird team. Bluku, Yamcha, and Goku Black against yeah. Trunks. Vegeta. Okay. So Sethlon is doing something that I actually personally feel like I should start doing, and that's putting Vegeta in the middle. Right. So if my point character dies and it ends up Vegeta being uh, on point, he has the beam assist to help him through. Yeah. Because that is definitely Vegeta's like biggest weakness. Is the neutral is a little bit weak, but having a beam assist always helps. And <coughs> yeah, getting caught in it. Kaze with some pretty strong consistency in neutral, it seems at the moment. I still personally don't agree with Luku being in the front, just because you do have help with things like a beam assist, but. Also, having Goku Black in that anchor position definitely going to help. See, the thing is, I would almost invariably put Luku in front unless your team specifically needs the hard knockdown mm -hmm. assist. Because uh, I, I feel like, personally, his dive kick assist is a little bit weak. Oh. oh. Um, Did the double Sunday? I think somebody didn't desync their control. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. He was, he was in Dragon Rush already. Oh, are they really going to... Are they going to restart it? So usually I would say restart it, but considering that they're in yeah, the Yeah, I think they're just going to take off uh, yeah. the unsync controller. Damn, Remember, had people, it too. if you play on pad, please, for the love please. of God, clear your controller off the setup so mm -hmm. shit like this don't happen. I think that's it happens a little too much at this point. Yeah. But either way, I mean, just getting right into it, Sethlon, it yeah. seems like he has a majority of the momentum getting 2H by Goku Black. And he's going to swap in uh, uh, Bluku to get some more health back on Goku Black. Yeah. And this should be the kill. Yeah, he's going to go double to... GHC. There you are. Right. Two level ones. I, it, it puts Kaze in a very interesting situation, especially with Sethlon having all that momentum with the happy birthday and then getting the initial Ooh, combo right on. before the pause. I think big momentum killer at that point, but going into, oh. The anti airs with the Wolf and Dragon Punch. Yeah, and just keep trying to tech up a little and, hard. And right there is, de this is definitely Yamcha's worst problem, is that he does nothing for damage. Mm -hmm. His damage is horrendous, and a lot of his, like, his Okazemi after, like, you know, aerial enders with the uh, Wolf Fang Fist DP, it's, like, kind of lackluster. Yeah. It's but, very awkward, too. Yamcha being such an oddity of characters, if well, you will. Well, Yamcha's kind of weird because his 2A is, like, really kind of awkward. It's not a low. His 5H is different oh, yeah. than everyone else's. Uh, also, he just got hit in the dome piece right yeah. there. Um, <laughs> IAD nice. heavy. So now it's 2-2. Two two, effectively the same. Oh, like, Cephalon has effectively more health because I have dude that's healing up. But uh, I highly suggest uh, Snapback. He tries to backdash out of the Vanish and with Punish, the auto combo. But Goku Black's 2 and just didn't go far enough. Yeah. Oh, raising up. Not going to get prolonged knockdown. Yeah, and you got to be really, really careful about, like, when you pull the trigger in close quarters when somebody has Vegeta assist on. Mm -hmm. Because if you just hold down back and call Vegeta assist, it blows up anything. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, just good. waiting for the zoning with the zone. Go <laughs> wake up level three. No, he, he, he level three to beat out the command grab from Goku yeah. Blue. Goku Blue's command grab is kind of... That's average. a little lackluster. It's pretty average. I mean, it's... It's an option. Yeah. It's, it's good that he has it, but... At, the, right. at this point, especially if you're going to put Cephalon in the corner with that meter, having something like a command grab at that uh, lock screen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or do, uh, like, anything to bait out a level three. In the position that he had, because Kaze also had assist as well, just to yeah. keep putting on pressure. Also, you got to know that somebody is going to, like... you got to be careful about when people level three in the corner. Yeah. Because defense in this game... It's really hard mm -hmm. because there's no push blocking like Marvel. Uh, reflect is kind of a liability. If you don't reflect anything, you kind of just get whiff punished for it. Yeah, exactly. Um, also, up backing is really bad because if you block something in the air, you actually have six extra frames of block zone mm -hmm. when you come down. So, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, just getting it right off with the Goku Black assist into 2M starter. And neutral jumps instead of forward jumps, so that combo drop there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very unfortunate mistake coming out from Sethlon, but starting the beams just to oh. stop any form of approach. Kaze immediately on top of it and causing the 2H. 
Uh, so we're going to get some corner pressure from Blue. Ooh. He tries to catch the up back of the Dragon Rush. Tracking wasn't good enough. Good reflect. Vanish on the backside. And that's a big Ooh. problem we've been seeing as of recently with Dragon Rush. Even if you probably have the read, it's a little hard to call mm -hmm. out up back with Dragon Rush. And he just does jump up, teleport. Unfortunately, doesn't allow Goku to uh, redirect. Yeah, and this is going to be a very interesting situation. He chooses Great. to spark him. I don't really like this. I think with how low his trunks was at the moment, definitely just trying to gain that pressure. Great IAD. This is the second or third time kazuya has been hit by it. See, I don't. Re the, the reason why I don't like sparking in that situation is because you don't have a way to kill the blue dude. Yeah. And so there's really no point in choosing to sparking there because now you have no effective way of like effectively tripling the life of your anchor. He was sitting on roughly four to five meter though. Yeah. Uh, I don't see why Cephalon wouldn't have just blown the bar, but he wasn't high enough to get a uh, holy light grenade. Yeah. Loops, so. oh. And Cephalon's team has kind of a hard time getting holy light grenade loops anyway. Yeah. So. So he's going to choose a final flash for the hard knockdown. Doesn't bait out the sparking. Yeah, and with all that blue health, especially with the DHC in the level three, I mean, just going into sparking to regain it back, probably get a read, and with the cross up. Doesn't decide to convert into an EX. Yeah, a little too far away also to set up the Oki as well. All right, guys, you got to stop pressing after Vanish. Like, you really have to. Because <laughs> that stuff is really plus. Unless it hits a really awkward angle, Seth don't get caught trying to up back. Yeah, and we said it was discussed to be a glitch, just... Yeah, yeah. I, we don't actually know if it's a bug or if it's intentional, but for some reason you can cancel the end lag of Vanish into Buddy. Yeah, Arxis, please, so. please... Please if, fix that. It fix that, too! <laughs> I cannot believe that. Okay, never mind, sorry. Get back to the match. Oh, two Ooh. H's in response to the other two H's, the up Oh, oh we got great loop. You don't actually need the EX there, but the EX makes it a little bit easier because... It comes out faster, doesn't it? It's not that it comes out faster. The cancel window into buttons is faster. Oh, okay. So it just makes the link that much easier. Oh. A nice tick throw. Jab into grab. It's a Street Fighter Classic right there. Into, yeah, God Slicer. All right, so for anyone with Goku Black on the team, if they get medium God Slicer in the corner like that... Oh, you can I like do, it. You can do immediate teleport when you hit the ground and dash forward, and it always saves them. Yeah. So. And the air dash forward just to uh, work off of the wall bounce. Mm -hmm. Just rock, right? Yeah. Looks like uh, Seth One definitely in Kaze's head at this point. Mm -hmm. Kaze definitely with some great rebuttals, but not having enough. Standing on 7 meter and no sparking. This is going to be a lot for Yamcha, who arguably has a pretty uh, decent neutral, I would say, out of the cast alone. I mean, Yam. Yamcha's just kind of bad. Yeah. Like, his neutral isn't awful, but, like, he's just a character. He's not the character you want to be your last character. Yeah, he's not. He's he definitely has, not an anchor. He's more pocket, if anything he else. He has very little damage. Mm. So, uh, although he does have some interesting stuff with uh, the spirit cannon. Mm -hmm. and in the corner, you can actually kind of, like, direct it to where it links. Great. And you can, like, combo after it. Yeah. But it's kind of awkward, and it requires a corner. And we see it right there with that little damage. Even though ending it with the claw, he's having to uh, immediately go into Vanish just to recover it. But Kaze definitely a fiend at the moment with his Yamcha. Yeah, this could uh, this is probably the best case scenario for them. Good Attack. tech on the Dragon Rush. Oh, oh, if he just waited yeah. half a second, he would have autocorrected. Just trying. Oh He's just going crazy, and that should be it. Yeah, I'm just rushing yeah. it and calling he out on the it. air to air. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, tight Going situation to here. We could see a wake up level three right now just to end it. Oh. Jab. Okay. Stagger jab, so, jab, 2M. So he is, gets the first jab, doesn't hit confirm, but Sithon has been doing a lot of like jab, grab, <laughs> and so he saw the jab. Went for the Dragon Rush, and he just it staggered. Staggered light, so he got blown up for it. With the smile, too. You saw it, you saw it too. He ran up, stagger medium. He got the hit, and he was like, oh, sh Nikes. Yeah, 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 he was yeah. like, I didn't continue it. I didn't, like, get the further punish. Yeah. So just going into the stagger pressure instead. Yep. Well, that was definitely doable. Yamcha. Yeah. Very impressive showing from Kazi though. Uh, going to be sent to losers. Mm -hmm. I think very unfortunate, especially with the spread and DHC kind of messing up the order. Mm -hmm. And then with the circumstances circumstances and the pressure that Cephalon provided, putting Yamcha in the anchor position. So one thing I noticed was that he did not punish. Uh, so like 
Blue health in this game is incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times, games can go very long because if you... There's a lot of ways to actively transfer your character into a pocket position. Mm -hmm. So after any smash, if you hold an assist, you can automatically change in. Also, after any other, like, smash knockdown, you can do half circle forward plus an assist and you automatically one bar DHC or half circle back plus assist and you do a uh, three level DHC. Mm -hmm. And so it's very easy for you to be able to like change out your character and you really got to be able to pressure them and make sure to snap back. Yeah, and still so, allowing you to be put in an Oki situation. Mm -hmm. So not being at loss of potential snaps that your opponent could provide on you. So I'm going to have to go play my match on stream. I'll check it later. I'll probably be back after this. So... Uh, I won't keep you guys if waiting. If not, yeah, y'all two are predicting my grand finals so far. So, yeah, hopefully. A lot of great competition. What's going on?